August 10th, 2015, was the first day I turned on the lights as principal of Banneker High School. We were designated as a priority school, which essentially means that we were performing in the bottom five percentile of all schools in the state of Georgia with similar demographics, with nearly six of 10 students not graduating. There was no connection to school and therefore no connection to our students' future. 97% of our students live in poverty. Zip codes representing some of the worst places in Georgia to be a child. And school, the very place created to build opportunity and hope, was actually fueling this epidemic. The community had lost confidence in the school. Well, I didn't even want her to go here because the school was horrible. And the reputation, the high school graduation rate was low. The attendance was low. The kids' drive wasn't there. The drive is not just the kids, the teachers. I didn't even want to come to Banneker at all. I viewed Banneker as a bad school. I was like, I don't even know why I'm here. Like, if they don't care about me, then it makes the students feel like they don't need to care about work or school. And I feel like that's why most students want to drop out because they feel like they're not getting the attention from their teachers. It had been a revolving door of the administrators. Teacher retention was horrible. And it just seemed as though there wasn't anything here for the kids that would provide a real solution. On August 10th, 2015, our faculty made a promise. We would partner with one of the most connected organizations around, 3DE by Junior Achievement a school with an academic framework structured around exposure, opportunity, and authentic learning experiences. 3DE represents a new methodology for teaching and learning. I've worked in schools that have had a distinct focus on college preparatory direct instruction, but I've never seen an instructional program that is as unique as this, one that is directly preparing students for 21st century workforce, that allows them to bring their natural talent, skills, and abilities into the classroom and then have them cultivate it through their own experience. I've never seen teachers more excited about teaching through this new framework. And quite frankly, I think it is the game changer that we've been desperately needing at Banneker High high school. How I thought about JA before was how, how is that going to change the school? How is that going to change the kids? And now I look at it and I say, wow, it has truly changed. The school is such a unique opportunity for the students because of the exposure and the experiences that they gain through the interdisciplinary approach to learning, the case challenges that they experience every month, the business professionals that they're exposed to. I mean, these are jobs that they might not have heard about before. And lastly, they also get to experience the businesses, the actual brick and mortar businesses. Her academics has truly gone up. And before she came here, her grades was usually C and B-ish. Since she's been here, she's been a straight A student. Cortese has like literally excelled. Jay has like really everything that you can ask for because they actually teach us how we're gonna be when we get older. And for the first time in over a decade, our school is now 100% staffed with teachers in every classroom. Next year, we expect to have our largest class of freshmen enroll at Banneker High School. And we expect to graduate our largest class in recent years. Here we are today, three years later, no longer on the state's failing schools list, no longer eligible for state intervention. We've increased our graduation rate by 30 percentage points, and that's the highest rate of growth in graduation rate among all 16 Fulton County traditional high schools. But when I walk these halls, I can feel it. There's pride. 